This video will go over our SEO difficulty metrics widget. So if you want to quickly see how easy or hard it is to rank for any particular search query on Google using keywords everywhere, this video will show you how. So let's get started. All right, don't forget to hit that like button and also subscribe if you haven't done so already. So in order to get access to the SEO difficulty metrics widget, what you first need to do is make sure you have Keywords Everywhere installed on your browser, go to Google and do a search. So for today's video, we will search for how to start losing weight again. So let's just say, you know, we have a website and we want to determine whether or not this uh, keyword, whether or not this topic is something that is hard or easy for us to rank for. And when the page loads, you'll see a list of widgets on the right. And we will be focusing on the first one on the top right. So this is the SEO difficulty metrics widget. Now, there's a, a handful of scores here. And the first one is SEO difficulty. So this score is between zero out of 100. The higher the score, the more difficult it is for you to rank. So this score is determined by these other three uh, metrics. So brand query, off page, and on page difficulty. Now, if it were me, I would recommend you to focus on a topic that has an SEO difficulty score of around 50 or less if you can. So if you have a, a newer website, if you are a newer brand, then try to focus on keywords that have 50 or less. But if you are a more established brand, if you have a website that has been around for many years, then you can look into uh, trying to rank for keywords that have a higher difficulty score. So the next uh, metric right here is brand query. So this basically uh, tells you whether or not this search term is a brand or not. So for example, Nike, Adidas, those are brand queries. And if you are not those brands, then it will be very, very difficult for you to rank number one. So that's something to keep in mind. Now the next one is off page difficulty. So this score is determined by looking at the um, off-page metrics for the top 10 pages on, on this uh, search results page. So right now it's 77 out of 100, so it is on the higher end. And looking at the results, you see headline healthline.com, Vox, eating well, healthline.com. So these websites are pretty well known, pretty established. So the off-page difficulty is going to be on the higher side, as you see here. And the on-page difficulty score is determined by looking at the on-page content of these ranking pages. So it's below 50. It's 48 out of 100. So that's a, a good number. That's a sweet spot uh, for you. Now, if you want to learn how these metrics are calculated, just click the link right here uh, and it will point you to our article that tells you how we calculate all of these metrics. Now, if you want more detail of these top 10 ranking pages, click on Detailed Breakdown and it will open up this page listing the top 10 ranking pages. In this case, it's 11 with their title tag and meta description and it will tell you some additional information that will be very, very helpful. So SERP highlights basically tells you if there is any, if Google displayed a special uh, description and it will appear right here if this is a special description that appeared in Google. It lists out the Moz domain authority. So again, the higher the score, um, the higher the domain authority uh, the, the page has. Uh, same with on-page rank, it's 0 out of 10. The higher, the, the more uh, authority it has. And then off-page difficulty is determined by looking at the Moz domain authority and op open page rank. So you'll see for the most part, all of these pages have a pretty high off-page difficulty score. 
Now, if you want to look at on-page difficulty, you can uh, click on these scores to get more detail. So for this first result, it will tell you um, what, what scores on-page uh, it has. So on-page difficulty is 43. It does not have an exact, exact match title, exact match URL, exact match description. It doesn't have that, right? So what this tells me is that even though this page is not targeting that exact search query, it's ranking number one because it has high domain authority. So that's something to keep in mind. So if I were a new website, this search query might not be a good one for me to write about because most likely I won't be able to rank on the first page unless I have a really good backlink profile. And you can also uh, copy all of these uh, metrics and data, and then you can also export this table as well. And another thing I want to point out is this button right here. So you can find long tail keywords for this search term. So just click on this button and Keywords Everywhere will do some research around this search term. And this will give you some good insights into um, what other keywords you should be targeting on this page if you were to uh, write an article about this uh, page. You can look at this list and make sure you are targeting these keywords. Uh, you can also uh, determine if there are other keywords that are more viable for you. So looking at the, the example search term here, it is gonna be pretty difficult for me to rank for if I have a newer site. So what I could do is look at this list and try to see what other keywords that might be viable. So I can look through here, look at the competition. Maybe we could focus on something that is, you know, how do I begin to lose weight? The competition is lower. Uh, the search volume is, is on this, the lower end, but I do see the trend is pretty high throughout the year. So this might be an, a viable alternative if I want to uh, try to rank on the first page of Google. So use this list to help you determine additional blog topics that might be more viable for you. All right, so this is the SEO difficulty metrics widgets. Uh, good luck, and we will see you in the next video. So if you got any value out of this video, feel free to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel. And if you wanna learn more about Keywords Everywhere, feel free to click any of the videos on this screen. Thanks, and we'll see you next time.